Hi, friends. Welcome to Adobe Live. My name is Sin Lagos, and I am your host today. With us is Renee Robin. Hi, Renee. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the stream. Where are you joining us from? Uh, I'm from I'm in Edmonton, Canada right now. Oh, awesome. I'm in Austin, Texas. Oh, and my God. you guys have the best food. <laughs> oh, <I'm... laughs> yeah, we do. <laughs> so before we begin, um, if you haven't already, definitely subscribe to our YouTube channel and keep up with our creative challenges that happen every week from 9 to 10 Pacific time. And also we've been having these really, really cool 3D boot camps. So check those out as well. Uh, so let's get started. Uh, Serena, can you tell us a little bit more about yourself and also the project that you'll be working on today? Uh, yeah, sure. Um, so I'm a photographer and digital artist from Canada. I mean, we just went over that. Um, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, I've been working in this industry. Uh, I mean, I've been working with Photoshop since 1997. So I believe that means March is 25 years. Wow. <laughs> I feel like I feel like I should know more than I do for how long using it that long. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of hard to keep up with the numbers. I've been saying like eight plus years for forever. And I yeah. have accepted like, yeah, <laughs> 10 years. Oh my gosh. Right. It's like, oh my God, <laughs> what has happened? <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. Um, but yeah, see, so yeah, I'm a photographer and digital artist and I like to make fantasy stuff and and other weird random things. And um, yeah, somehow I've managed to make a career out of this so far until yeah. AI comes for us all. Yeah, your work is beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I know, AI. I don't think so. But I think it's going to help us at the end of the day. I at least so. today it will. <laughs> <laughs> true, true. Very true. <laughs> so do we want to dive into what program we'll be we'll be using today? Yeah, so we are going to be using uh, Adobe Photoshop and okay. uh, do, 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 do. So this is my my subject here. Um, so just a heads up, and I know anyone who's been following my social media, um, my computer has decided last night that it really needs a, a really big reformat. <laughs> so we're going to do some of this in Photoshop <laughs> 2023, and then we're going to do, we're going to hop back to 2018 so that my computer can breathe a little bit, which is really unfortunate because there's a ton of new features in here that I love and they're so good. So what we'll have to do is we'll just have to do another one. <laughs> yeah, we'll just have to do another one. <laughs> if, if, you don't, if you don't hate having me back. <laughs> You'll just have to keep, keep up with us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, so recently I was in Antarctica and uh, and the Falklands and South Georgia. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some images from the Falklands that I had taken and we're going to make this little... Well, this is, this is at the request of my sister. <laughs> she was like, oh my God, look at all the cute penguins. You need to do a composite with the penguins. And I was like, okay, I'll do a composite with the penguins. And then she was like, but make them big. And I was like, what? <laughs> She's like, oversize them. Make make your model really small. And I was like, all right, I'll see what I can do. I'm no Joel Robinson, but like, I'll try little people. I'll see what I can do. Does she often step in as a creative director? <laughs> yeah, well, she, I mean, to be fair, she often has very good ideas. Her yeah. ideas are often better than mine, so... <laughs> Gonna, we're gonna see what we can do here um but yeah so this is my lovely model dane halo she's the best and uh we went into the studio and photographed this for our live stream here and i'm just gonna go up here and i'm just gonna do a little bit of liquify on her hair i'm just gonna add a little bit of body to it so do, do, do. And let me see here, zoom, get out of the way. Yeah, so I like to keep my pressure nice and low when I'm working with liquify, um, because I find if I use too hard of it, like the pressure too hard, it really kind of distorts the pixels a bunch. Um, but uh, I think there's a part of me that um, is very much so child of the 80s because I love big hair. <laughs> yeah, and the 90s blow out. Yeah, yeah, that? exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, no, no big like frizz. That was that's that was my mom's like '90s blowout signature. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. We can just use liquify. So yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, I can't commit to that. I yeah. <laughs> um, okay. So and then I'm just gonna go select subject because the select subject tool is so good right now. When Adobe, oh my God, like it's just, it's just amazing. I was so impressed because yeah. I mean, as I was working on this last night, I was just kind of like practicing what I was going to do. Um, and I was just like, oh my God, this is just amazing. Now, can I move? There we go. Get out of my way. Thank you. Um, okay. So 
I'm gonna go select and mask. And basically what I'll often do is I'm just gonna smooth this a tiny little bit. And admittedly, so this is a crazy thing. So I, I did this in 2023 and then I went back to 2018 and did the exact same steps. And I was absolutely upset <laughs> at how much better it is in 2023 than it was in 2018. It just like hurt me a little bit. I was just like, what? There's like, there's almost nothing that I have to fix here. And, and we did nothing. Yeah. Like, what? I think I often have that same uh, almost like bittersweet oh. feeling of, wow, this is amazing, you know, that it can do this so fast. However, oh, I've yeah. spent so many hours in the past <laughs> right? to do the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. It's craziness. Like absolutely insane how much work this used to have to take. And now it's like, oh, I just have to do like a tiny little bit of work nice. here mm -hmm. in between the fingers. Like, are you crazy? This is, this is amazing. So, yeah. um, yeah, bonkers. And yeah, I think uh, part of their workflow, I mean, their uh, Adobe's focus has been to just increase or fast, increase the, the speed of our workflow. And so we have more time for creativity. Overall. Thank yeah. <laughs> thank you so much to every engineer who's worked <laughs> on this. I cannot say thank you enough. Like, um, yeah, I could not believe how much faster this was and how quick it is. Like, just what? <laughs> I'm so happy it hurts. <laughs> Are you like, using a, a tablet to? to I am solution? using a tablet. Like yeah. you're very precise with your mouse. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. No. So it's funny as yesterday when I was practicing this because I had just I was not thinking and I just mismanaged all my plugins. Um, I was doing it with the mouse. And I was like, oh my god, this is this is going back to the dark ages. This is some <laughs> slow, slow work, man. Holy crap. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I always find though people, they have a really hard time with the mouse or sorry, with the tablet, like transitioning over right, and yeah. Wacom has, you know, the Cintiq series, which is amazing, but, mm -hmm. um, it's often out of a lot of people's price range and it's a little bit hard to, you know, afford for some people, but Wacom also has this Wacom one, which is like, it's basically like a really cheap Cintiq and it doesn't have any of the fancy features and it is not color calibrated, but, um, that's what I use because it's so light. I can travel with it. Yeah, and it's just more it, economic. Totally. Yeah, yeah, it totally works really well. And so, and you know, then it's a screen that you can actually look at and draw on as opposed to like trying to figure out the like, you know, brain to screen thing, which I mean, again, I've been, I've also been using Wacom tablets since 97. Um, so, you know, it's, it's very second nature to me, but for a lot of people, that's not the case. And so I always tell people just like, just get this little Wacom one and it, it really works really well. And it works so smoothly with Photoshop and it's just, it allows for like the joy of creating to come back into play as opposed to being like, oh my God, now I have to do this. Right. Um, have, you, have you ever used the, um, uh, on the, the Photoshop on the iPad or trying to I haven't use used Photoshop on the iPad, iPad but I, what I, um, what I did do when I went to uh antarctica is i brought the ipad with me and i used it as a second monitor because they're um on the windows because there is an app that does it um and the name of it is completely blanking on me at this very moment in time but uh so i mean obviously it works really well with apple because you just do apple sidecar and you can use photoshop as you normally would on your ipad right um and then you're not worried about like you know power and everything else because again i only have like the cheap i have a cheap ipad because I mean, I basically use it for reading and like drawing up concepts and sketches and stuff like that. Um, so, I mean, Photoshop runs beautifully on the iPad Pro. Yeah. Uh, but less so on the cheaper ones. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, it gets optimized every single time. We were just talking yeah. about that. Yeah, yeah, let us know in the chat what is your preferred, uh, I guess, tech for your workflow. I know oftentimes I use the Intuos pad myself, but it takes up a lot of room on my desk. So I end up using the iPad and just sitting on my couch. So yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, oh, hold on here. I'm going to call this mask. So what I did is I just went up here and I went up to save a copy and I'm just going to save this as a mask because like I said, um, I don't want to risk a crash with you guys. So we're going to, we're going to, we're going to jump around here a little bit, which is unfortunate. But if we do this again, my system is going to be freshly rebuilt. And then we can really like, my computer is going to turn it on. It's going to go, oh no. Oh, I want to see behind the scenes of that rebuilt. Oh my God. I'm just hiring somebody. 
I don't even want to do it. I'm just like, no. I still want to see it. Yeah. <laughs> We've all been there. Oh my God. Yeah. Yeah. Let me see. Okay. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to mask out these guys. Open with. Everyone's really excited about the penguins, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Marcia says, I want a pet penguin. I saw a barking penguin. And what? That's wild. Okay. <laughs> a barking penguin. Maybe it wasn't That's... that. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. So now let me see here. Do I have, I may have, do, 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 do. Okay. So we're going to just going to pull up the shadows and highlights a little bit. I'm going to increase the clarity. So now full disclosure, I shot these on my 5DSR um, and I was not, so I don't know if anybody's ever shot with a 5DSR before, but it is so unforgiving with focus it's crazy um you have to be like bang on so this camera has made me like a way better photographer really um, but the first stop which was the falklands um <laughs> some of my images are a little soft but actually admittedly that's kind of why i picked them uh is because part of the thing with compositing is making everything match um i'm gonna close this because we have this mask done and it looks great uh, we are going to say, I did save this, right? You saw me save this. <laughs> Have you ever had this before where you're just like, Photoshop's like, do you want to save before closing? And you're like, I'm pretty sure I save. Yeah. I always gonna, hit save regardless. I'm, I'm going to just say no because I, guess I did it. I know I did it. Um, but anyway, so this is a, this is a 5DSR file. And so this is a massive, massive file. Um, and I also know that I don't need it to be that big. Mm. So first things first. I'm gonna give myself like a little bit of headroom up here. Um, and so I don't normally do this, but knowing how big this file is, I'm gonna say delete crop pixels just to save my poor system and give it a little bit of breathing room. And we're gonna make sure our horizon is straight-ish. That's good. Um, yeah, so we're gonna, so I turned on delete, crop, delete cropped pixels. Words are hard. Hmm. There okay, that's so interesting. So that that's just going to help your system in general. It's good to yeah. know. That yeah, and then the other thing that I left on was content aware. So this is the other thing with 2023. Right. What? Like, okay, so. Content aware. <laughs> oh my God. So Bravo, think, it's like we need a, a sound booth, you know, with the clock. Right? Like, where's yeah. the cheering? So delete crop <laughs> pixels and content aware. And so what this basically is doing is I'm just like, okay, I need like some breathing room here. And, you know, so give me something that looks like this, but like a little bit more room. And then like, I'm just going to hit enter. And instead of having to rebuild all this stuff, I'm just going to let it think. Yeah, I'm usually really shocked. I often use it for like in-studio photography because I my backdrops aren't gigantic. I don't have a giant, you know, uh, right. seamless. So it's so helpful because it's so fast. I don't really have to think about it. Yeah, yeah, totally awesome. I was just like, what? this is so much better. So we have a little bit of jankiness going on here, but also I know I want like a little bit of space for this penguin. So I'm gonna just try this. Sometimes this works and sometimes this doesn't. Um, oh, I need this tool. Uh, so let me see here. I'm gonna see if I can, oh wait, hold on. I'm gonna see if I can move this guy over to here. Y'all are making me hungry on the chat. They're talking about fish, spinach, and mashed potatoes. Fish, because... spinach, and mashed potatoes. That's a weird mix. <laughs> that is a weird <laughs> mix. I think it's just that, the, the time to eat. <laughs> uh, that's fair. Okay, so now that I've got this guy, so I'm just using the patch tool. Um, mm -hmm. I'm just going to replace here. Ah, so smooth. Oh my God, so good. Are you holding any shortcuts to do that or just? Uh, no, no, I'm just, just using the patch tool and it's not perfect, but that's fine. Um, let me see here. You straighten out that horizontal line a little bit. Wink. Yeah. So yeah, so the patch tool is just right here. So that's just giving me a little bit of space here. Again, we need to just clean that up there a little bit. Okay. So I don't want to spend too, too, too much time on this because I also know that there's like a bunch of stuff that I want to do with this. But again, I'm going to go into my select and select subject. And we're going to create a mask here because it's so much better. <laughs> yeah, masks are great. Yeah, so and it's okay that there's like a little bit of this 
and their feet and everything like that. Um, oh, wait, no, I forgot one more step. Control D. Um, do, 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 do. So, yeah, uh, like I said, this is like a super, super, super unforgiving um, camera. So, like, this little guy here, like, he's kind of sharp, but this, this one here, there's, like, some blur, and this one here, there's some blur. So, I'm going to duplicate this quickly. I'm going to go filter, sharpen, smart sharpen, because smart sharpen in Photoshop is also fantastic. Um, I did a a thing with a guy from Adobe like a bunch of years ago. And I was like, okay, there's a billion different ways to sharpen. What the hell? <laughs> Which one is the best one to use? And he was like, oh, our smart sharpen is really good. And I was like, okay, I'll try smart sharpen. Cause I, I like, have that same question. I'm always wondering if yeah, this so, is okay. even a good idea to try. And something about it makes me feel like, wait, is this going to be natural? Is this going to be efficient? Oh, it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. Yeah. And I'm like, it's well, so which is the right way to do it? <laughs> yeah. Right. Well, cause like I was using like the high pass filter and everything else before, but yeah. So okay. that's like before and after. And it's just like, it just does like a nice job and it's okay that this guy's a little bit out of focus, but anyway, yeah, cause I'm just gonna... I, I do a lot of uh, street photography and oftentimes it's just that moment where you just say like, no, I missed the focus because everything's yeah. on the go. Right? Yeah. So it's like, Mm, this is so interesting. <laughs> I'm gonna rewatch. Uh, let me see here. Do, 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 do. Oh, I'm gonna move my. Sorry, this is gonna be loud for a sec. Cable. Eh, there we go. Um, brush. Okay, so I'm just gonna fix just a little bit here where the mask mix missed. But really, at the end of the day, that's not a big deal because of what we're doing next. Um, and hopefully you guys are cool with it because, uh, I mean, I had a lot of fun making it <laughs> last night and I'm really sad that it crashed. I basically giggled like an idiot the entire time, <laughs> which I, I mean, to be, to be honest in Photoshop, like we have a tendency that we can get like really serious. Save as a copy. Uh, we are just going to call it this mask. If yeah i think to be fair the the workflow that we enter into is a little bit maddening right it's a lot of, very meticulous very time consuming so you, you have to be able to laugh once in a while if yeah things go plus, especially yeah. <laughs> i feel like we should just have a stream on how to troubleshoot because sometimes that's the question right? oh my it's god awesome. right yeah. <laughs> yeah okay so this this should start giving you guys an idea of what's gonna happen select um, in this case here, I'm just going to do select color range because select color range works really well. Um, okay. and I'm going to create a mask and we're going to invert it. File, save as a copy. Mask. We're going to call it a TIFF. Oh my God, Targa. What even is a Targa? Is that like some weird 3D stuff? I don't even know what that is. Um, <laughs> anyways, I got this off of the Adobe Stock website. I basically just like burned through and I was like, give me all of your... <laughs> All of your armor. Medieval assets. Yeah, exactly. Do you have favorite categories on Adobe stock? Um, I mean, it really Keywords. depends what I'm going Keyword for. Keyword magic, you know? Like, yeah, you well. One thing. <laughs> I mean, the one thing that's always nice to find are just like little assets like this. I mean, I love finding really great um, magic stock. Um, Because that's really hard for me to make. I kind of suck at it. I'm, I'm like... I mean, I'm a compositor. I'm a photo basher, so I'm not even like cool enough to join the Illustrator kids. <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, sit on this table. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I can't sit with those kids. Like, I can't have lunch with them because um, they're way better than I am. So I have to find assets, and so um, I like to find like nebulas and crap like that. That's kind of where it's at for me. Um, yeah, so I just did Alt click on the mask there just to see where everything's at and admittedly I'm just going to approximate this because it just doesn't have to be that good for what I'm going to do with it <laughs> um let me see here I'm just going to burn through this quickly because I want to get to the fun stuff because masking is do you often um when you're searching on Adobe stock do you look for similar color palettes too and or is that something um, you just do in post no, I just typically do it in post. I mean, I photograph all my backplates on the same color temperature, Oops. Mm -hmm. um, which helps a lot. Uh, I don't use auto white balance ever. Even in the studio, I'm often shooting on the same color temperature. Um, when I was in Antarctica, there was a photographer there that was like, holy crap, you shoot your photos like really, really, really warm. And I was like, yeah, well, 
I mean, it makes sense for what I do. Um, Cause everyone's just like, Oh my God, you're taking so many pictures. And I was like, yeah, but I'm looking for elements and pieces and like puzzle pieces yeah. and everything else. Right. Like I'm not looking for. It's almost like shopping. Like there's just freebies everywhere. Yeah. St- yeah. Oh when yeah. You start to like really focus in on that kind of mindset of collecting. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. I mean, what are you like when you're working with this? I mean, I don't do a lot of compositing, but I do dabble just for fun because I enjoy the process. Yeah. And I love watching folks do it. Um, I think a lot of times, like, I use Adobe Capture to just, like, grab assets from just anywhere I am, especially if I'm traveling or I find really cool typography or really cool, like, symbols and things like that that I think I can bring into and then kind of tell the story a little bit more complete because my assets coincide with what I went through to also. I think right. that's kind of how I approach it. But yeah. Huh. yeah. How does Adobe <laughs> Capture work? Like walk me through that a little bit. Adobe assume- Capture? It's, it's mostly yeah. like a, a, your, I use it mostly on my phone. So I know it's iOS based, but I also am able to use it on my Android. Um, yeah, so it, there's so many different things. One of my favorite things is just collecting vector shapes. So I can take a photo of a plant, for example, and then uh, I can vectorize it and I can make patterns out of it. And oftentimes what? I bring those around if say, for example, I went out to Big Bend and I wanted to photograph a particular rock or a particular like face of, of um, the lake or something like that, then I can bring it on later and kind of use it as a as my title, you know, I can use it as an asset um, during my like storytelling. Yeah, it's super cool and it all kind of connects to the library. So it's one of my favorite things to just like have the Adobe Creative Cloud completely connected and like organic as I'm just exploring. That's yeah. so cool. Yeah, I love it. I highly suggest it, especially for you. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to look into that for sure. Uh, let me see here. We're going to do. Uh... I see profile and whatever continue <laughs> they're still and they're so funny they're still pondering over what penguins eat oh like this, krill the chat is something else i'm always like enjoying the <laughs> chat on the side <laughs> yeah no uh krill they eat krill mm, there um, you go mystery solved yeah i mean people who work down there for a living can probably answer that question more in detail than i can but yeah i know krill um is and just your first get, time in it was my first time to antarctica oh, yeah wow. Um, but if you ever get the chance to go to Antarctica, be prepared that it smells like the world's largest chicken coop. You <laughs> tell them before you can see them. It's crazy. Yeah. It is, wow. um, it is an experience. The chicken of the sea. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> and they're so fast. Like, they're so cute. They're so fun to watch. I loved it so much. It was so, it was so great. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's an experience. <laughs> Did you, were you able to catch the auroras? Auroras? Oh, the Southern Lights? Yeah. Uh, no, we so didn't quite go season. south enough. For, and it was summer. So, I yeah. mean, it's summer okay. for at the bottom of the planet because, like, ground Lots of planning. For yeah. Um, yeah, if I was down there in the winter, then possibly. But, uh, yeah, I was down there for the summer. So, okay, I'm going to hop over into uh, one that I am less worried about. Actually, wait. No, no, no. Hold on. Oh, my God. There's so many things to mask. <gasps> it's so much faster to do it here. Oh, my God. This is just so much nicer. Uh, no. <laughs> Okay, select color range. This one's going to be a little tougher on the color range because, um, yeah, it's like real shiny. Invert. For those of you who are just joining us, hi, Robert. Hi, Brittany. Uh, so we're doing compositing and masking in Photoshop. Really, yeah. really cool. Very fast. Nowadays, it's- everything is so fast. Oh my god, it's so I'm good. I'm just shocked. I used to just use the pen tool for everything when I first started. Oh, you're a pen tooler. Remember those? <laughs> I'm a pen tooler. Remember those days? Yeah, pen tool. I'm still- and I would get lost in the workflow, you know, that there's something very uh, hypnotic. I don't know, hypnotizing, hypnotic. Yeah, yes. that's the right word. Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, hypnotizing about just like trying to get everything precise. Yeah. And when you achieve it, you're just so happy, right? That it yeah. almost took away that part. <laughs> <laughs> yeah but right. ironically there's plenty to be very precise about if you know you're you're very precious with your work it's it's always hard to find out when it's final final right when it's actually done yeah oh for sure um mm-hmm. oh my god not targa cancel tiff i'm so curious what targa is 
Arga, yeah, I don't know. Probably right? another large file system. There's so many new ones now. HEIC. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of new new types of file formats we got to yeah. keep up with. Uh, let me see. There should be another helmet. There it is. The JPEG will forever be. Right? The classic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so gonna mask this and invert it and check the mask i'll click on the mask yeah that one's pretty good we okay. have a question from marco yeah before starting a composite do you have a clear picture in your mind of how you want the end result to look or do um, you it's try always a lot of different better. sorry or do you try a lot of different things before deciding the end result yeah so it's always better i do my best work if i have like a pretty good idea of what i want going into it mm -hmm. um but I don't know why I said <laughs> Yeah, experimenting yeah. is always kind of, you give yourself that freestyle uh, yeah. room. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay, so where is our mask? Zoom stuff. I need to move you over to the other monitor. There we go. All right. Now, mask. There we go. Open with. Uh, we're going to go into 2019. Like I said, my poor computer, which is this kills me to do this. So like I said, by the time we do this again, we're going to have a rebuilt system and we're not going to be dealing with any of this. Oh, Tim says Targa is an old school image format. So it's old school. It's not even new. School. Oh, man. Interesting. Wow. Now I feel even worse for not like knowing it because. <laughs> I, I mean, need... some of them didn't make it right. They didn't make it yeah. mainstream. So, yeah. Well, now <laughs> no, we have cool. an answer. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to bring in these guys. And okay, sweet. There we go. All right, check out these little guys. So, my thinking with this one was that it could be really fun if we had, like, you know, this maiden of the ocean and her army of penguins. So we're gonna do an army of penguins, which is why we're having all of the all of the stuff. <laughs> Uh, let me see here. And all I'm doing um, is I'm just increasing. So I'm just in Adobe Camera Raw, which is like, I love this. I love ACR. Um, I'm going to do some final color grading in here as well. But uh, I'm just increasing, well, a little bit of the texture, maybe a tiny little bit. Actually, no, because I'm going to I'm gonna make this hazy. They're, they're going to be background penguins. These are our background actors. So uh, I'm just going to go open. Okay. So and really quick fact, I I used to, I started my editing process in Camera Raw. It was the first editing tool I ever used, and essentially, I guess Lightroom is inspired by Camera Raw. Yeah. Um, but I opened it recently, and I was like, I still love it. <laughs> right. I still love that workflow in there. It's a little bit different. Um. So I've kind of given myself a challenge to use it more often. I I love it so much. I think it's really great. Uh, let me see here. So I'm doing a crop here, delete crop pixels and uh, content aware, and we'll see what the difference is between 2019 and 2023. Um, hopefully it can figure it out. Never mind the fact that it's a little bit slower. They look like they're having a grand time on that beach. <laughs> they were having so much fun. Let's see. <laughs> oh, I know what I should do. Turn the fan on. That'll help. Okay. All right. Yeah. So that was pretty simple. I mean, so yeah, this is a crazy thing between 2019 and 2023. So like you can see here, like it just didn't quite figure this out up in the top corner here. You know, it didn't quite figure out that there was like a horizon line there. Right. And like, you know, it just got a little bit repeaty pattern here. Whereas mm -hmm. with 2023, it was so much, so much better. Yeah. It requires so. human intervention. No. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it will always require human intervention. Well, I mean, opinion. well, 2023, it didn't, though. That's the crazy part to me. Oh, okay. It's just Gosh. like, <laughs> it was just like, yeah, let's do this. And I was like, okay. Uh, oh, so Tim says hello, by the way. He says, we met ages ago in Vegas with Rob Grimm and his crew. Oh, amazing. Hi, Tim. Familiar, familiar names. Yeah. Can't see you, but familiar names. I like familiar names. Um, oh my goodness, I didn't pull the mask over. Right. Do, 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 do. Okay, so I tried to just copy paste and it didn't pull the mask over. So I'm just going to 
Alt and drag this over. There we go. And now we're going to have our masks with us. So just going to grab V for the move tool. Give us some of these guys here. I'm going to cover up that penguin there. Let's see how best to do this. Okay. So now if I duplicate this background here, so I just made background copy and I'm going to close this just to save my poor system from melting down. Now I'm going to control T, which is transform. And I'm going to see if I want to make these guys a little bit bigger, a little bit smaller. Before someone says like, oh my God, your image quality guys, this image is going on Instagram at the most. <laughs> it's going on yeah. YouTube. I don't really care. <laughs> Um, if I was going to print this thing massive, like, yeah, okay, I would be worried about what I'm going to do. I know that painful decision of making everything smaller for social media. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's just a question of like, you know, you gotta, you gotta pick your battles, man. Yeah. Yeah. Multiple files. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So we're going to go here. Now this little penguin back here is probably going to disappear. I don't know if I'm going to see him. So, because knowing roughly of what I have in mind, roughly, I'm going to grab my patch tool. And we're just going to make this little buddy here disappear. Um, okay, so from there and then over to there. Good enough. There we go. All right, so we have some nice spacing here. So this is looking pretty good. And now we're going to pull on to this guy. We're going to pull Dane over. I'm going to put her here. Now, one thing that's happened here is I photographed Dane in my studio with a 70 to 200. Um, and I photographed these guys with a 70 to 200, but I photographed them at 200, whereas I photographed her at about 100. So her compression isn't quite the same. Um, mm -hmm. So uh, compression, obviously, it just kind of like flattens you out a little bit. So I'm just going to flatten her out just a little bit. So I'm just holding shift and transforming just slightly. And let me see, I think I'm going to put her slightly in front of this penguin because he is not in focus and she is. So we're going to make her a little more foregroundy, a little bit bigger. There we go. Now oh, maybe we'll just cover this guy up. That's, I think, probably a better choice. All right. So now what we got to do is we need to go in here and we need to bring in some of the foreground that these guys were standing on, because obviously when we zoom in, um, this foreground here is out of focus, but these guys here in the background, they're also a little bit blurry, so they can actually exist in the background just fine. So I'm going <laughs> to grab my brush tool. Anika says, wait, no oversized penguin. <laughs> oh, these are oversized. These are massive. These <laughs> penguins are not this that big. big. Yeah. This is like three or four times bigger than what they should be. Oh, so they're really little guys. Yeah, yeah. Penguins okay. are super, super, super tiny. Yeah, unfortunately. Kind of like puffins. I was really excited about puffins being like massive and they are so small. Okay, so that's looking pretty good there. Just gonna make this nice and soft. Get that nice soft foreground. Okay, so that looks good. Now I'm going to do another delete crop pixels thing here because um, I don't need content to wear. And let's see if we just yoink, pull this up. I should do the trick there. Okay. And we're a little bit low. So I'm just gonna grab, I'm just gonna grab my marquee tool here, and I'm just gonna pull this up a little bit. So I just grab marquee, and then uh, Control T or Command T for Mac users, and transform that. I'm just gonna pull it up a little bit. Like I said, if I was working on this to be like massive and it was going to print and everyone was gonna see it, uh, yeah, I would be more careful. But hey, it's for the internet. Like I said, mm -hmm. I kind of wanted today to be kind of like fun. <clears throat> Because Photoshop, I think we have a tendency, especially anything that I've done live, it's like it takes itself a little too seriously sometimes. <laughs> yeah, I'm just yeah like, this is one it. of the freestyle ones. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so now 
And next thing, we are gonna start working on putting some armor onto our penguins. So actually I should do the background penguins first. Don't forget your background actors mask. There we go. Okay. Do, 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 do. V for move. I'm just gonna pull this. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> um, hold on one second here. Oh yeah, it's just because, so this Adobe stock image is a sRGB file. And so Photoshop's like, oh my God, what are you doing? It's an sRGB <laughs> file. File's bit's not gonna be the same. And then that's where I go like, hey. But it has again. a voice of its own. Yeah, exactly. Oh my goodness, we want to go onto the mask. Do you ever have that where you're like, there's a 50% chance if you're on the right brush color and you're just not 100% yeah. of the time? That's on black or white. Yeah, yeah I, use, I use that X, the X key all the time too. Yeah, oh yeah, constantly. Like I live in that thing. Yeah. Okay, so, um, oh, you know what I should do? Because of yesterday and I'm scared now, file save as. <laughs> yes. Always We're going to call it Adobe Live. And we're going to save this as a TIFF. Okay. And then I get all these like options here that come up. I'm going to say no, no image compression, um, okay. interleaved and uh, PC because I'm a PC user. And uh, yeah, RLE is fine. I don't need a zip and I'm definitely not discarding the layers. So we're just going to hit OK. And now we are going to um, fit some armor to our little background guys. So I'm gonna move this down here into the order. I'm about this part. <laughs> <laughs> this is where it gets fun for me. Um, and this is where last night I was just like, I mean, apart from when everything was crashing, I was just having a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna reduce the opacity of this a little bit. Uh, and I'm gonna get this roughly to the right size and roughly the right width. And I'm going to make sure that the little armholes are kind of lined up where the flippers should go. And then so from here, I'm just going to right click. And I'm going to go warp. And we're just going to like snug this in. Thank you, computer, for reminding me that I was doing something bad. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to like pull this up here onto the shoulder. I'm trying to guess your workflow before you do it. I'm like, okay, yeah, the warp tool. That makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a game, just trying to guess what you're going to do next. <laughs> okay, so we do have, I'm going to call this one uh, breastplate. Breastplant, nice. Breastplate one. Oh my goodness. This is happening right now. Okay. And we have a little bit of a mask line here. So I'm just going to get rid of that. So now, obviously, this is like way too sharp for what it's going on to. So we're going to go up to filter, blur. Oh, I'm on the mask right now. I'm going to go on to, so I'm going to make sure that I'm unlinking my mask between the two because I don't want to blur the mask. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to go filter, uh, blur, and motion blur because this is technically what we see here is motion blur. And so, see, this is like 18 is way too much. I'm just going to like roughly see where we can see this at. Actually, maybe we should try including the mask. We'll see what happens. Sometimes, most of the time this blows up, but let's, let's see. Motion blur more. Filter, blur, motion blur. Thank you. All right. So, and I'm making sure that the motion blur, yeah, no, we're going to unlink that mask. Um, making sure that the motion blur um oh you know what i can do better idea rasterize so apply layer mask now i don't have to worry about any of that masking crap okay blur motion blur vertical because i want it to match the same you know type of blur that's happening with these guys in the background 18 pixels is obviously way too much i think like seven pixels is starting to look pretty good we're just gonna hit okay and let me see here. Now I can go in. Well, hold on a second. I'm going to duplicate this so that I can put him, this one, on a different penguin. So I'm going to put this here. I'm going to go back to this one. I'm going to mask this so that it fits the shoulders of our little dude. <laughs> Robert says, we have a shark safe suit. For the <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so Amazing. Things. 
Yeah, although technically fur seals are the main fur seals chomp these guys down with a pretty aggressive success rate. So, um, yeah, they are definitely snacky for basically fur seal popcorn. Um, alrighty, so that's our first piece of armor. So, oh my goodness, come on, do the thing that I asked you to do. Hold the space bar, move around. And I'm just going to do a clipping mask to it. So I basically just live down here in this little half circle thing. going to go curves. I'm going to alt click onto this guy and I'm just going to drop that exposure a little bit. And I think I'm going to add just a tiny little bit of yellow. There we go. Now he's matching. That looks pretty good. Breast plate number two. Let's dress these guys. I'm going to pull this one here a little bit. That should do the trick. Now I need to mask Oma up that corn flipper. Says, so cute. Sorry? Oma Corn said it, it looks, it's looking so cute. <laughs> Yay! It really is. I mean, <laughs> talk about fun. <laughs> it's so adorable. It's kind of ridiculous, but I mean, that's kind of the theme for today, I think, is that it's, it's allowed to be ridiculous. Yeah. Um, but nevertheless, I think we're learning a lot of really cool tools and different tools and how to adapt them. You can get creative with your own composites. Totally. Yeah, exactly. Um, also one thing, this is for like the pixel nerds in the, in the room. Um, you'll notice that the, the noise isn't the same on the stock photo now that I've blurred it as it is on the background of our deer penguins. Mm -hmm. So if you really want to get, picky with this and let's pretend you were printing this which we're not but let's pretend that you cared and you wanted to um what we can do is we can go in and just add a little bit of noise to these layers so we can go back to this guy here and we can go um filter noise add noise and so this here is like way too much noise but if we go to like oops 21 good god c1 Two, so I'm making it Gaussian and I'm making sure that it's monochromatic. But see how our noise is like kind of looking a little bit nicer now? And it like yeah. fits the image just a little bit better. Again, this only matters if you actually care about like printing right. your stuff. Um, I hope super up close. Yeah, exactly. Filter, noise. Yeah, it's like the magic is just getting lost in the the scene less so getting lost and like oh how was this edited yeah exactly yeah. yeah that's what i always want for people when they see the work is i don't necessarily want them to be like oh you know I, like how did how is that done and it's like well that's not really the point i want you to just be like oh my god look at those pigments <laughs> with armor yeah. on um yeah so i noticed that this suit of armor wasn't quite fitting over the hip there so i just went in and i unlinked my mask because i didn't want the mask to move with it and uh, just like quickly clean this up. Uh, so like so. There we go. Yeah, so cool. that's pretty cute. Looking not too bad. This guy here, I don't know what I'm going to do with him yet, but let's go over. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, and we should create a clipping mask just to reduce the brightness on that and add a little tiny bit of warmth. So, um, down just a tiny bit and then blue that's too much and Annika just shared with us some free stock acids so feel welcome to make your own composite and share it with us that would be make an cool. armored penguin army yeah <laughs> <laughs> your own penguin I know everyone has a lot of knowledge of penguins in the chat so I'm super okay. curious to see your composites that's awesome um, yeah and if you want to nominate yourself or a friend to become an Adobe live guest there is a tab on the Behance uh, chat page. So check that out and nominate your friends or yourself. Yeah, nominate your friends. Nominating your friends is awesome. It's like my favorite thing to do because when yeah. we all rise together, man. Yeah. Rise together. Let's see. This guy here, he's had more curl than the rest of them. He's going to be a little bit chonky. <laughs> <laughs> I, I discovered when I was down in Antarctica, I saw a Weddell seal for the first time and I was like, oh my God, I have a new goal in life. And the guy was like, what? And I was like, I want someone to love me for being a fat, lazy, hairy slug 
and someone will just think I'm beautiful Aww. and love me for that. And I was like, talk is- about healthy <laughs> beauty standards. Yeah, right. <laughs> Because it was so cute too. Just, it was so just pick pretty. your inspiration from nature, you know? You yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> As nature intended. <laughs> I know. I All often right. look at my, my pets and I'm just like, oh, I envy you. <laughs> right? That's 100% it. Okay. So this one, I don't know how well this one's going to work because this, this penguin is like facing sideways a little bit. Um, so we're going to have to get like pretty aggressive with the warp tool here. And I've just been duplicating this whole time. Uh, fortunately, this guy's a background background penguin, so it doesn't have to be corn perfect. Um, oh, come on, don't, don't do me like that. All right, uh, what? <laughs> sure, why not? Good enough. Because I also want to be mindful. I'm like, I have how much time to get this done in? Like 90 minutes, go, 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 go. I know you've done a lot already, actually. Let's see here. Um, how are we doing for our time check anyways? I should probably ask. Um, we have like ten minutes. Yeah. Ten minutes till I'm finished? Uh, I think so. Oh my god, really? Yeah. No, twelve sixteen. Oh wait, I'm looking at the wrong time. Oh, Jesus, lady. <laughs> <laughs> rush don't <laughs> do me like that <laughs> <laughs> holy crap i didn't even imagine get to you pull every yet. trick in the book now and then you just like finish everything super fast <gasps> that'd be rough i mean i could i i don't know i couldn't finish the front penguins in that amount of time but i could i could do something but oh, you pull all of the 2023 there for a second. um updates sorry selecting you use all the selecting tools the new selecting yeah. tools yeah, this new selection tool <laughs> them so much. Uh, let me see here. So uh, this mask edge is a little bit because that penguin. This is where the neuroses kicks in, where I'm just like, it's not right. It's not right. It has to be right. Um, so I'm just changing the hardness of the brush and uh, going back and forth on it because we got to make it look somewhat. I imagine this is like a very like long process this part the just the highlighting like lights and shadows and things like that to make it look yeah seamless yeah oh yeah i could spend all day on that for sure let's see get the rest of that flipper coming over here we go i think that's good enough um now sometimes what i will sometimes do to blend these in just a little bit is like reduce the opacity on it a tiny bit. Let's see here. Oh, my cat is losing her mind. If you hear like crashing, my cat has <laughs> things that go bump in the night. Oh, you have a cat. <laughs> if you have a cat, yeah. yeah. And usually she makes it, usually what she does is she crawls all over my keyboard oh. um, and then like hits buttons. And then all of a sudden I'm just like, what just happened? <laughs> Where did everything go? Oh my you god! Definitely build a composite with like armor on your cat. armor cat. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, so my fun, my favorite thing. My sister has a has a little min pin, and uh, and I'm saving again because paranoia. Um, my sister has a min pin, and we actually had armor made for her dog. Um, mm. and it's the cutest thing. It's like a little leather armor, a little back plate with like, oh, it's so great. I love it so much. All right. I think it's kind of fun to just like play with composites just just to see how far you can get like totally to test your imagination yeah yeah and that's what like today's composite is like a huge part of that is like okay i never build composites like this what happens when i do you know yeah exactly um, and that's fun so i just use the marquee tool so m on the keyboard marquee and then v and i'm just gonna move this guy over because i don't need both of them uh and that is clipped oh man have you ever had this happen where you're just like i copied something over where did it go um oftentimes it can wind up in a clipped layer so you just drag it up to the top oh my mask didn't go with it boo that makes <laughs> sense why wouldn't it do, do, do. we'll just move the whole thing over fine be that way yes okay and it's clipped Link. All right, so this is going to be, oh, and there's the dog. 
<laughs> nice cat and dog team. Yeah, yeah. Um, as you can see, get along really well. Uh, okay, so I'm just gonna make this one go away. Yeah, this one has a lot of highlights and shadows already kind of like from a specific yeah um yeah angle <laughs> yeah is that gonna be like you know something you're gonna tackle or we're gonna, gonna see do... how much time i have by the time we get through this but yeah i would love yeah. to we have um, like 45 minutes yeah so. okay, 45 no <laughs> mean to sh shake you again <laughs> oh my god that was uh that was attack inducing. <laughs> I know. Emma Corn was like, "You're trying to give her a heart attack." Yeah. <laughs> He's trying to keep it spicy. <laughs> yeah, which I mean, I'm cool with. I like spicy food. <laughs> I can I can roll with that. But uh, yeah, wow. <laughs> I'm usually pretty good at time management. How did this happen? <laughs> yeah, I mean, you've done a lot actually. All right, you've covered a lot of ground. Um. Okay, so technically that is going to go around the front of the neck. So that would kind of look more like that. And again, this is like, you know, what would armor look like on a penguin? Like, you know, because penguins wear so much armor. Uh, okay, let's try that. Yeah, because that's going to wrap around. Okay. So now we are going to go to our brush tool and there are just that little border around the mask whoops there we go nice work okay and let's turn this up so i can see exactly what we're looking at bottom and we need to bring this around the front of the neck Um, it's like, or people who know anything about armor and how it actually sits on the body, they're probably just like cringing right now. So <sighs> sorry to all the historical geeks in the library. I was going to say, I'm you sure we have about. a lot of med medieval historians. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it happens sometimes. I get them in the comment section. They're like, technically these helmets don't match with this. And I'm just like, you know what? It's fine. <laughs> Okay, yeah, so one I, th I think uh, that's kind of tricky, even just to wrap them up. And, uh, yeah, just watching you do it. One thing that we have going on here is we have feathers on this wing, so I'm going to use a textured brush to make that make more sense. Um. Do do do. Uh, hopefully, we don't get in trouble. The people who live on the apartment above me. They have a grand piano and it's amazing and she's like the most incredible player uh but it might pick up on the audio so hopefully you don't get take down notice or something <laughs> a little soundtrack yeah oh it's the best i absolutely love it yeah she's always apologizing like sorry it's so loud i'm like no no no. i literally stop everything that i'm doing and i just listen to you play it's so nice that's so interesting to have a neighbor that does that as opposed to a noisy neighbor <laughs> Yeah, well, I mean, I think that's what she was worried about. She's like, oh, but it's noisy. And I'm like, yeah, but it's it's a grand piano and you're incredible. So, yeah, yeah. no, I don't mind. <laughs> um, okay, so one thing that I'm, I'm using here, and anyone who's watched my streams before, I love the splatter brushes. Splatter 59 is so nice. Works so good. Um, I'm going to make sure I'm on the mask. Are those... Those are the ones that already come with Photoshop yeah. or? Yeah, yeah. So at one point they were put into the legacy brushes and I was like, no, don't get rid of them. <laughs> um, and then somebody at Adobe must have heard my protesting or like, you know, the protesting of the internet because uh, these brushes are so handy. And I was worried that I was going to have to go like make my own because I make my own brushes all the time. But man, if I don't have to make them and they can just be like in Adobe, then that's always best. Um, but yeah, so this is a really nice textured brush and it works really nicely for hair and for feathers and for everything else because I can't use a soft round brush on this edge because it's not technically a soft round edge. Penguin right. flippers have little tiny feathers, so. Oh my god, the detail. I'm just gonna, again, um, this is where, like, you know, I'm putting it on the internet, so probably no one's ever going to see this, but this is the neurotic part of my brain that just cannot handle mm -hmm. cannot what, handle this. what was the number of the brush 
59. 59. Yeah. Okay. yeah, the splatter 59. Yeah, all the oops, all the splatter brushes are wonderful. Same with um the Kyle's brushes. So whoever Kyle is over at Adobe, whether you're a real guy or not, um, yeah. your brushes, they are fabulous. And do you do you modify them at all? Like rotate them and Oh yeah, yeah, for yeah. sure. Um yeah, but I probably won't today just because reasons. <laughs> trying to get this thing done. Okay, so now I have like a little bit of a border here. So I'm just gonna go down to like 15% on the flow. I'm just gonna soften this edge a little bit. Just cause those white lines, those white highlights may be crazy. And I know there's a way to clean them up faster if I just use the, you know, selection tools a little bit smarter, but guys, I gotta try to wrap this thing in 90 minutes. This is not much time. <laughs> Okay, so that's okay there. Okay, so we're gonna add a cape to this guy, so I'm not too worried about the back. Um, and he's not quite as noisy as the other ones. Like the noise quality is pretty similar. I suppose I can add just a little bit of noise filter, noise, add noise. Um, uh, let's go. Yeah, probably one is enough. Um, do you often print your your work yeah i love printing my work yeah i mean uh people buy prints off my website as well mm. um but yeah i think that the best way to see your work like it's one thing to love it digitally but to see it printed is just so nice yeah because you know? then it's then it's like it's a it's a real thing it's a thing you can touch and you can smell and you can you know all of these things yeah absolutely and it, oh, a lot of folks don't print their work or surprisingly haven't yet um, yeah and it's really unfortunate yeah. because like i mean that's that's a time when you can say like oh i did a thing like i, I did yeah. a thing you know and also i actually have a friend who is doing ex an exhibition um this amazing weekend. yeah and just the the process for him uh, he's does film to just print it was brand new it's such an experience it's that's like, so cool he, he was telling me how much he's loving it but it's just such a new experience yeah. yeah, it's super cool. Yeah, I love that. Um, apply layer mask. There we go. So I just did a right click and apply layer mask because I realized after I'd done it what I was doing wrong. So now I can go copy. So use my marquee tool, copy, control C, control shift V. And <laughs> now we just have this over. So now we're going to work on penguin number two. Um, do, 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 do. And this guy here, he's got a little bit of like motion blur slash like smuts on my lens. So we're going to have to blend this in a little bit nicer. Um, and what I can do here is actually I can take these guys and group them. So we're going to call this background penguins. And these guys are foreground penguins. So just to help organize things, um, I, I did name one of my layers realistically if you want to do this and not hate yourself afterwards you should definitely name your layers <laughs> yeah definitely name your layers um it'll definitely make your life a little bit easier a little bit happier do, 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 do work yeah it's almost like you're you're designing for your future self when you open that file for the first time again 100%. Now, yeah it's like uh what did i do here <laughs> yeah it's the worst yeah i mean whenever i'm working on client work i'm always pretty neurotic about it but when it comes to my own stuff uh I can get a little bit blasé about it and I always lightweight hate myself afterwards <laughs> oh yeah absolutely it's, it's like um I, I have that experience with backing up photos and then I I think maybe I don't know at what point I started to actually have a really really nice system and now I if I pick up like an old uh drive I'm like wow I've improved a I, lot since it's <laughs> so incredible. Yeah, I have been there. I used to have no system whatsoever. And uh, now I have like, it's a good enough system. It's not anything magical, but it does the trick. And I go back into my old hard drives and it's just like, <gasps> oh my God, what was wrong with me? Okay, we need to handle that little fin. 
I will see how good this looks once I actually turn it up to full. There we go. You can see everything that I'm missing. And now this guy, because he's a little bit blurry, I'm not too fussed about the feathers because, well, they're a little bit blurry. Let's see. Oh, no, there are some. There are some. Never mind. I take it back. I'm fussed about them. <laughs> <laughs> we are going to fuss. Do, do, do. Let me see here. That was looking pretty good. And... Oh, there's things that go bump in the night. That would be my cat knocking crap off the counter. <laughs> <laughs> Just like, you're not paying attention to me. I need you to pay attention to me. <laughs> but yeah, I know exactly. Cats. <laughs> I love them so much, but they are demanding, demanding masters. <laughs> okay. Oh, wait. We don't need that wrapping around there. We have a question. What's yeah. been your favorite composite uh, you've ever worked on? If Ooh. any. If you have a favorite, favorite is kind of hard to have, right? But it is kind of hard to have because um, it's not like picking your favorite kid. Um, Which is easier. Yeah, definitely. definitely easier. According to my parents, it's much easier. <laughs> I am not the favorite kid most of the time. <laughs> um, I mean, it's hard to say. I really have to think about it. I have to, I have to marinate um, because, like, I mean, there's there's lots of composites where like I've really enjoyed the process of building them with friends. Like I did a job for Wacom overseas a bunch of years ago, and uh, I mean. It was just really fun because like the best things for me are jobs when I get to hire people that I that I love and I trust and I like really value their work and their skills. And that always makes things feel really nice for me. I quite like that. Yeah. Um, so probably something like that. Um, like sometimes yeah. it's the process more so than the final. Oh, work. it's always the process. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's always the process for for sure. For me, it's always the process. Um, the process is is everything for me uh, because you know I'm I'm very social. I'm a very extroverted monster, uh, and I really like spending my time with people. Which I I know uh, a lot of people in the community who are watching this probably feel very differently about that. <laughs> yeah, socializing isn't for everyone, and that's fine. Uh, yeah, but yeah. Like artists tend to be uh, made out of like an introvert fabric for some reason yeah yeah and I kind of wish I well not even kind of I definitely wish I was more introverted but I am just not um so I love the opportunity to like work with people and basically like you know get money into the arms of people who I think do great work and should be celebrated for their for their you know the type of work that they do mm -hmm. um so yeah uh Anytime I get to be able to do that, I think is a really good day. I'm just holding shift here just to snug this up. Um, Cause this is a sideways sitting thing. And it's way too long. Although that could be funny too. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah. Uh, yeah, I'd have to I'd have to really think about that. That might be something to if you message me that on social media later uh, when I've had some time to think and I'm not trying to fit custom penguin armor, uh, I might be able to give you a better answer. <laughs> yeah. Let me see here. That's pretty low, but this is probably my least well-fitted piece of penguin suit. Mm -hmm. Maybe this guy's new. He's like new to the penguin on penguin honor guard. And so he doesn't get the new fancy stuff yet. He's like an apprentice or something. Do you, where do you get your inspiration from? Or do you watch shows or read books? I mean, I'm admittedly, it's a my very specific. My best yeah. ideas come when I sleep, when I dream. Okay. Yeah. Um, Very Dali of you. 
<laughs> I suppose. Although yeah. Dali is actually incredible. Um, yeah. He used to know, go to uh, sleep and get ideas yeah. and force himself to wake up in the middle of his sleep to remember it. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what I do is I like I write them down. I make sure that mm. I make notes and I write wow. down things that I dream of um, because, yeah, that is that is where most of my best ideas come from. Or my sister. My sister's really good with ideas, obviously, with the penguin oh, armor. Yeah. Your sister. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Actually, that might be one of them that I actually know. I know one of my favorite ones that I've done, my favorite composites now that that popped into my head. And it happened when I was dreaming, I was sleeping. And I'd had this idea in my head for quite a while. And um, I was trying to figure out how to best illustrate, like, you know, taking the leap of, like, believing in yourself and doing something that scares mm -hmm. oh, the absolute bejesus out of you. Uh, you yeah. know what we should do? We should save. Um, where's my history? Oh man, so many layers. Do, 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 do. History? Window? No, it's not there. That makes sense. There we go. Okay. File. Save as. <laughs> save. Yes. Okay. Um, but yeah, so I was I was trying to figure out how best to illustrate this like concept of you know taking the leap and everything else and I had this idea in my head but I didn't figure out I hadn't figured out the engineering for it I hadn't figured out how to make it make sense you know I wanted somebody to be jumping you know out into space and you know and I couldn't I just couldn't figure out how to make it work and uh then I was flying out to Halifax and I was asleep on the plane and it was like for my first big lecture that I'd ever given in front of 70 people so this is pretty early on in my career and I was like terrified and I still had like major fear of speaking going on in my head. I was pretty like very, very afraid of it. And I was passed out on this plane and uh, I had a dream and I was like, I had a dream. I was like of somebody jumping, but I only needed them to jump up. I didn't need them to jump out. And I was like, oh my God, that's it. All I need is a dancer who can jump up and then I'll just flip it in post and then I'll just photograph like, you know, off the top of a skyscraper or in my case, I got Ben Von Wong to do it because uh, he was in Hong Kong at the time. And uh, and I was just like, that's it. That's how we do it. And it was the first image that I had made where people that I didn't know who have a fear of heights um, were reacting physically to it. They were just like, oh my God, like they were so afraid wow. of heights. And, um, you know, it like affected them and I'd never had anything that affected me like I had a, had affected anybody like that before you know people always look at my work and they were just like oh yeah it's really cool like I really like your work and I like the way you see things but that was the first time people were like oh my god like I'm afraid of heights and this image makes me feel that feeling and I was just like yes mm -hmm. I love that and I've, I've kind of been chasing that ever since I've I peaked early in my career because that is I think the most impactful image I've ever made um, there's other images wow. I've made that have like nicer composition and better color theory and everything else. Right. But I think that one uh, was the first one that really, yeah, affected people. And, and I was, that was the first time where I was like, oh, art actually can have an impact. Yeah. How cool is that? So cool. Um, but yeah, I'm so curious that's about uh, what I many just other ways that you have like an impact on some of your photography, but maybe you haven't learned of it yet, you know? Possibly, possibly. Yeah. Um, but I mean, I also don't, I don't really worry about it too much. Like, but you know, that was, I mean, the next one, I think yeah. that has had the most reaction anyways, is, um, the Shibari mermaids that I did. Mm. Um, cause they're really beautiful. People really like those ones. Um, hold on a second. This guy, what happened to his armor? Where are you little penguin? Where did your armor go? Oh, that's why. It clipped. There we go. Ah, problem solving. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like, I swear to God, this little dude's stuff fit better than that. Okay. So, okay. We're looking pretty good here. And I'm going to do time check because I have 20 minutes to finish this, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. All right. So we're going to move a little bit faster. No, no. Open. I'm going to give my front dude here a little helmet. Because all good honor guard captains need a helmet. And let's pull this down 
to here. Yeah. Okay, good. So this is our first penguin that I made a bunch of stuff for. The mask didn't copy over. That's fine because we know how to fix that now in history. Eh. We are going to go here and we are just going to go uh, apply layer mask. So now I don't have to worry about that. Now I can copy it over with reckless abandon. And we're going to drag this down to our penguin that it fits on. There we go. So yeah, this is not the most epic artwork I've ever made, but also I, I don't know. I hope people are enjoying watching this. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. I think I it started so. a whole, a whole funny chat on on the chat so i want to hopefully see. it inspire people i want to know so what i want to know is if people could name these penguins what would they name them <laughs> and what would they what would they name this army of penguins like what what is the title that they would be given i have so many questions so i want to see you know i have so many questions about their identity who are right they? yeah like let's how write some come like, backstory. About... <laughs> yeah What's the backstory here yeah like how how do you wind up they look like they're on uh, they're going headed to a mission you know they're right yes or they're, like, there's escorting somebody important or something like <laughs> i have so many questions i want to know their backstory so i think it'd be really fun if we got people in the chat kind of like figuring out what their backstory are like is this is this penguin like you know uh, like sir bartholomew no. seventh or something right it's very fancy now, <laughs> yeah. Marcia already came through with oreo so oreo is a good one <laughs> let me see yeah, you gotta build a backstory to kind of like inspire your next right? move <laughs> yeah exactly like that's how you that's how you get this stuff um, okay, so um, this hat obviously is all the wrong colors, so I'm just going to do a clipping mask here. I'm going to reduce the saturation on it, but not all the way, but most of it. I'm just going to go in here and clean that up a tiny little bit. There we go. Bartholomew has his helmet. I'm going to save it because everything's getting a little bit, a little bit weird save <laughs> uh, let me see i think i can i don't need you okay that helmet is gone don't need that <laughs> guardians uh, of gillian sorry guardians of gillian is another name and oh, i love it that's, so <laughs> that's perfect uh let's get him a cape uh 2019 Okay, my layer mask. Uh, I probably don't need the whole thing. Let's just grab a part of it. It's probably enough. Guardians of Gillian, that's so good. <laughs> Slip horizontal. Now he's kind of behind her too, so we're gonna move this behind her. Although this should probably also, ooh, actually that worked out. Oh my God, it just like fits. That never happens. <laughs> yeah, it's meant to be. Right? Okay, now mask. All right, we need to put this down in with our the rest of our guy. There we go. Although I suppose, I suppose this doesn't have to be a male penguin. It could be a female penguin. I don't think it's very easy to tell the difference between the sexes of penguins. Apparently like the king penguins, they have like different sounding calls between males and females. Um, but I obviously have no idea. <laughs> How to identify that and this is a photo so see here i'm just gonna clean up the rest of that bed sheet because that's all that i used we're gonna have to create a shadow for this cape as well do, do, do. 
Okay. I mean, he's not too bad. I need to like yeah. clip That's mask. A good fit. <laughs> need to add a little bit of yellow in there. Tiny bit. There we go. Good. Okay. So if we have 20 minutes, okay. Now this guy here needs something. Like maybe we can have like a little piece of fabric going this way, even though that's very counterintuitive to the wind that the rest of the image is experiencing. But let's see. We take like, I don't need too much, too much, too much. We could take this. And we put you onto this guy here. And if we give him like, a scarf or something. So we don't we don't want to give him like too much. Also, we gotta pay attention to our light direction. And we go warp. Did you do you add your own light afterwards or? Um... Just yeah, that's that's kind of why I'm trying to like hustle yeah. through this part here because yeah. adding a little bit of light is nice. So I won't be able to add quite as much as I would like to, as I would like to. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, puns for the day. Uh, let's see here, but we can definitely add a little bit, and that's too sharp. <laughs> we have Earl of Armor. Earl Leopard. of Armor, so good. <laughs> Leopard Look. Seal Avengers. Ooh, Leopard so Seal fancy. Avengers. So fancy, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> we went from I Oreo to Guardians of Gilead. Like, wow. <laughs> Amazing. Yes, this is the stuff. This is what I'm here for. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's make this a little bit. I'm going to clip that and add a little bit of... Yellow. Okay, sweet. All right. Okay, so now I need to make all this stuff kind of make sense because right now it looks very stickered on. Uh, so I need to add like some shadows and everything else. So first things first is I'm going to create a shadow layer here. I'm going to put this onto, I'm going to try and multiply first because our little scarf here. And I'm going to sample a color from the image itself. So I'm going to sample from, let me see here, there we go. Uh, I'm going to sample from the penguin so that I have like a color from the image. I'm going to add a little bit of shading here, a little bit of shading here on the flipper. Although if I want to, I don't want to necessarily put a bunch of shading on, oops. Control shift I. I don't want to have a bunch of shading on the flipper itself. I want to have shading on the armor so that the armor looks like it sits where it's supposed to. Okay. Deselect, maybe? Oh, is this where we freeze? Nice. There we go. <laughs> My computer's finally just like, no, I've had enough of this nonsense. And this is pretty chill, actually. You've done a, a lot of the heavy load. Yeah. Okay, so we have... It's crazy yeah. how much dif of a difference it makes, just like adding a little bit of shadowing. Right? Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. very stark. Yeah, it definitely makes all the difference in the world. So we're going to add some shadow to our next penguin here. So do, 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 do. There we go. We're definitely rolling in on the last eight minutes or so. Yeah, I'm going to make this real fast. <laughs> okay, so we're going to multiply this. And, oh, that is wrong layer mask. There we go. Um, you know what? We're just going to do this as quickly as possible. And I'm just going to burn through this by hand. So you're you're dodging and burning, not adding shadows. 
Uh, I basically just created a multiply layer okay. and um, and then I just grabbed samples from the image itself. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, let me see here. So I'm going to invert that and I'm going to erase the stuff that bled over too far. Deselect. And then I'm just going to go in and just lightly add a little bit of shadow to the bottom of him. Right down here. And to the next one, to our Captain Bartholomew. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably the best one. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, multiply. And again, I'm just using the color that I had sampled earlier, and my computer is absolutely losing its mind. We should save <laughs> once <Yeah>. it's done freezing. <laughs> uh, save. Okay, there we go. Uh, I think I want it over the cape and I want it over the helmet. No, nope. where did you go, Shadow Lear? Oh yeah, right, okay, it clipped itself. Yeah, problem solving. There we go, okay, so I want a little bit of shadow down here, a little bit of shadow here. Okay. And... I this feel like this cheap. is a step I, I really enjoy doing, even if it's not like compositing. I, I think I, it's one of those parts that just enhances the photo quality also. Yeah, yeah, totally, totally. Um, okay, so for this part of the shadow here, I'm going to take a shadow from the sand as opposed to from the penguins. And normally I would do this much more carefully, but we are running a little bit short on time. So I'm going to make this as quick as I possibly can. There we have a little bit of contact shadow for our dude. And I'm just gonna quickly create a another shadow layer here. <laughs> Multiply. And we're gonna add just a tiny little bit of shadow to our penguins in the back. This is so funny. Kieran just joined the chat and said, just came in and I'm seeing penguins in battle gear. I think I'm in the <laughs> right place. <laughs> yes. Perfect. And remember everyone, you can rewatch uh, any of these shows at your leisure and just enjoy the chatter about all the penguin knowledge that we had today on the chat. It was <laughs> I'm gonna have very to impressive. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna rewatch it all because I wanna see <laughs> I wanna see all the comments and everything. Um okay, my computer froze again. Cool, 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 cool. Thank you. Um okay, so I'm just going through with an eraser just around the edges here of our penguin where the shadow went too far. Okay, so that's like pretty quick. Um, I'm gonna file, save again. And so now to merge all this stuff together and just do like a really quick, because we have about like five minutes. Five minutes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, five minutes. Um, yeah. I'm gonna merge all this up. So Alt, Control, Shift, E on your keyboard. <coughs> Pardon me, it's finally happening. Um. Oh, I know what I was going to do. Hold on a second, because these penguins in the background, they're like a little bit bright. So, oh no, hold on. I'm going to create a new layer here, and I'm going to make it middle gray-ish. Middle gray-ish. <clears throat> We're going to fill that. And now here, I'm going to reduce the opacity of our penguins in the background, because they're in a group, right? So it fits nicer and now i have like really quickly some like depth added to the image yeah um, that's how they now... do it <laughs> <laughs> that's how they do it so different um and so now i'm just going to go into adobe camera raw mm -hmm. and hopefully we don't just lose everything that we just did I'll move you out of the way Alrighty. so um i have like a buttload of presets that i've made over the years and I found one last night that worked pretty well. Where is she? There we go. Blink. Wow, they all look pretty. Cool. <laughs> that one's really cool though. So, yeah, it's a good good fit. Yeah, I think it works pretty good. It makes it nice and bright. Um there's there's a few more steps that I would normally do that I just I mean, like trying to do a composite live in 90 minutes is uh 
<laughs> it's a challenge. Super tough. It's a tall ass. <laughs> <laughs> you just gotta start timing yourself. Yeah, yeah I know. exactly. It, you think it's a lot of time, but yes, you did a lot. Oh, nonetheless. it's not. I mean, most of my composites take me like days. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's interesting. Well, definitely 12 hours, like eight to 12 hours is very common for a uh, composite for me. Yeah. Um, do you want to, do you want to um, share with us in the last few minutes here uh, where we can kind of catch up with you, with your work and. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So yeah. yeah. If you want to follow my work and follow the nonsense that I do here, um, <laughs> basically uh, you can go to um, ReneeRobin.com or you can search Renee Robin photography or Renee Robin photo on everything. I mean, I'm on YouTube, although I don't update it very often. I should do it more often, but I don't. Um, color. Do you share your process on YouTube also? Uh, I'm working on it. Yeah, I need to oh, do more cool. of that. I mean, that was like the plan was to do some of that. Yeah, um, it's a lot of work, but. Definitely. Yeah, it's a, it's, I mean, as you guys know, like it is, it is like so much work. Um, yeah. But yeah. Anyways, um, really quickly, I guess, like in the fastest way possible, we went from like these guys to like these guys. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> um, <laughs> Yeah. There's definitely like a few extra steps that I would like to do that I probably am just sure. not going to have time to do, but, uh, yeah. we don't have days, but I am sure your workflow is definitely well invested. This <laughs> has been super fun already. Like this has been super interesting for me to see your process, your workflow. Thank you so much for sharing it with us. Um, and for being a part of this. Yeah. Thanks for having me guys. I super yeah. appreciate it. Um, and like I said, when we do this again, um, I will have uh not <laughs> a computer that's mad at me right now and needing some very bad very very strong got it. <laughs> uh, rework and so. um also everyone join cladi with print my soul for design fix as she recreates a logo and remember you can re-watch this entire show and keep up with us on youtube my name is sin lagos and thank you renee for being with, with us today and see you next time yeah, thank you so much for having me. Thanks for being such a great host. I appreciate it. <laughs>